after extra time, dirty leads on the cut. It's the uh, sort of director's cut of uh, Dirty Leads novel, which came out in 2009. Uh, I brought it out myself uh, simply because uh, I wanted to add a lot more of the original text, which was uh, edit edited out originally, because I think a lot of it was a bit too controversial. So I put it back in and released the book myself. There's 47,000 more words in that one. Uh, what the in the book's about is a fictional character called Jimmy O'Rourke uh, and his life uh, when he was born in 1950 and the story really revolves around him being 11 year old in 1961 and wanting to be a Leeds player. He's a good local player in Beeston and he grows up in the shadows of Ellen Road and the football stadium. Uh, also what happened in 1961 was that Don Reedy took over as Leeds manager. So I've got the official tale of Jimmy tied in with all the, uh, the factual tales of uh, Don Reeve and all the players and all the successes and glories and obviously all the, uh, the tragic failures as well that happened uh, uh, during Reeve's career as Leeds manager from 61 to 74. Uh, as well as bringing it out myself, one of the main reasons I wanted to do it out of my own money was so I could give a bit to a charity. So uh, of every copy of this sold, uh, it's 899. Every copy is 10 percent goes to candle lighters, which is uh, obviously one of the best charities you could, I could think of. Uh, I do love writing about Leeds, and uh, I hope uh, people like reading and reading about Leeds as well. Uh, I, I like to sort of uh, tie in fact and fiction, a bit like uh, David Peace did with the Damned United, except this is uh, this is from a different perspective. It's from the eyes of uh, the kid Jimmy O'Rourke, and it's uh, it's. Uh, well, it's very well reviewed so far, so I hope uh, you can uh, find the funds to buy it and uh, obviously you'll do yourselves a bit uh, good for charity as well. Uh, it's my fifth novel, well it's, it's the sixth book of the fifth novel. Uh, I started in uh, 2002 with a book called One Northern Soul, which is more about uh, a Leeds United fan rather than the football club itself. And that was a fictional character, but all the stories are true mainly based around me and, and my exploits or rather experiences uh, when I was growing up in the dark 80s following the really crap Leeds, Leeds United team and going around uh, town to a lot of really crap pubs and meeting a lot of really crap people and having uh, a lot of beer with them and things like that but it sort of was a grim time for me in the 80s because uh, I was on the door for uh, two and a quarter years and the character in that was the same. I moved on, did a sequel to that to the novel, so called No More Heroes, and then uh, brought out a factual book. And then uh, 2009, we did uh, Dirty Leads. This is the extended version of that, and uh, I followed that up with the sequel as well. Uh, like I say, it's uh, I always try and write fact and fiction, time fictional tales about fact, about facts concerning Leeds United, and uh, so far so good. Uh, I like uh, to sort of do things under my own steam and do a bit independent, a bit like Eastleys magazine in a way. I like, like the sort of punk attitude. Uh, I think it's the best way to go forward really. Try and be your own boss. Because, uh, you know, you, feel, you get a real sense of achievement when you actually do manage to bring something out or create something. <laughs> There's a police side and it's not for me. I'd just like to add as well that the, the character uh, in Dirty Leeds is called Jimmy O'Rourke. It's got absolutely nothing to do with Jimmy Savile. And uh, as I say, if you care to buy it, you get 10% given to Candlelighter's charity. So not only will you be marvellously entertained, but you also feel a bit better about yourself because you're given to a great cause. Cheers.